Thanks very much to XP Pen for sending me this in exchange for this review. I'm going to take a look at this XP Pen Innovator 16, but not in terms of how most people would look at it as a drawing tablet for a digital artist, but I'm actually going to think about this, whether this is worth us getting in the education sector, whether this is the type of thing that we could use for our distance learning materials, or even in the classroom, or even for assemblies, or to use for presentations in schools and colleges. I think it could be absolutely perfect for presenting to a class or any group of people really. I've used a lot of pen and tablets in the past. This one is the outgoing one, and you can see this is just a tablet which you have to look at the screen as you write. Now there is absolutely nothing wrong with these. In fact, I think they're brilliant and they're not very expensive. So if you look at this video today and you think, yeah, actually that might be useful for me in my education, then I would definitely recommend you look into something like this. XP Pen make loads of affordable versions of this type of tablet. Get something with a nice large area, get something with a good quality pen, get something with some good reviews and you won't go wrong. And it is not actually that hard to look up at a screen and write on this at the same time. So don't feel put off if this is out of your price bracket. But there are loads of reasons why I want to upgrade from that one. So I'm gonna get it unboxed and I'm gonna give you my first thoughts in this video and then I'm gonna use it for a little while and I'm gonna come back to you with some other thoughts on its use in the classroom or for making digital learning resources. XP Pen have just celebrated their 15th anniversary and I do love their packaging and I do love their kooky styling with this little character that keeps coming up. So this is the tablet itself and you can see they're really billing this as this incredibly thin device. Also you get a little stand for it. A plug for every region. Deets and an artist's glove. Now that is not for palm rejection, that's just for a smoother feeling when you're actually drawing with it. And then the pen comes in this little tube. This is a battery free stylus. One of the things I didn't like about the last one is that you had to keep it charged up. This one is totally battery free and it also has more functionality than the last one. So it's a win-win really. I find with any pen, if you need to keep it charged, there's a barrier to using it at any time. And that can be really frustrating. If you intend to use your pen input and you get to it and it needs to be charged, then it's just, it's just time that you could be actually drawing or writing or do, using the actual tablet. And this is the cable uh, with a little extender as well. And this, I'd say, this is the only thing that I'm slightly worried about using this device. I mean, looked at a few reviews of it online already. Is not that there's an issue with this, but having these free connections is a little bit of a nuisance. So that one end, that USB-C goes into the actual tablet, and then you have to plug in HDMI to your graphics card, one USB for actual pen input, and the other USB for power. And that power could actually come from a laptop or PC, but it can also be used with a plug. So I'm gonna use it with the plug, because that's what's recommended. And there's a wee extender if the plug is further away from the computer. It would be ideal if you could just have one USB-C into the tablet and just one USB-C into a PC. But this is still a standard having these free connectors for any pen displays. Thing itself is. <laughs> So let's have a look at the thing itself and it, it feels really sturdy and it feels really light as well and they're marketing this as a kind of portable pen display so it is not the biggest one you could buy um, but it is light and thin and it should have a lot of portability which attracts me for the use case that I'm thinking of. It's a little note about taking the screen protector off but making sure you don't take any of the actual active layers of the drawing tablet off. So uh, this is important I'm told. To get that satisfying film peel. <laughs> there is ever such a slight bubble on there. I'm gonna allow it though because it's not actually on the active screen segment. I don't really understand how, but actually after using that for a few days, this bubble's gone, so that's a good thing. 
Let's get it set up and I'll try it out and I'll come back to my first thoughts and then I'll try this out actually in education. So the use I'm really thinking about this is, well first of all, just using this alongside PowerPoint and broadcasting with something like OBS and then I'll be able to make Windows Ink annotations as I work. But I'm also thinking that this would be a really useful thing actually in a classroom because unlike a normal whiteboard where you can actually draw on the board at the front, a digital board on the front, you don't have to have your back turned to the class. In fact, you could actually look at the class whilst you were teaching on this. Your annotations are being displayed on the actual screen that they were looking at, but you can make eye contact with them. So yeah, I'm really interested to find out how this works. So I'm gonna get it set up and I'm gonna come back to you in a few days after my first try out of this. And then after I've given you my first thoughts, I'll be back with the full review after a couple of weeks to exactly how I find using this in the schools. It is designed to be this really light and thin and you can feel straight away it's a very very thin design it's a very attractively designed piece of kit it does have this little scroll wheel and this virtual wheel and lots of customizable macro buttons on the side as well i will just say quickly that this thing does work without any additional drivers installed you can just use the windows tablet mode or windows ink as they call it for pen and touch this little icon down here for pen input you can just use this without installing any XP pen drivers and well it did take me a little moment because I just had to make sure that it was actually referencing this display and that was down there in the tablet PC uh, settings I need to set it to this one and then set up and then follow the instruction to tell it that this was the display that I wanted the pen input to work with and now as you can see it works just totally as a pen as you'd expect anyway. and it's really accurate I can tell you that's as neat as I can draw or that's as neat as I write with any pen and actually to do what I do which is to essentially do physics so for example let's write out an equation then without any installation I can actually do some sums I can use this is just PowerPoint I can use annotation on top of PowerPoint and I can be teaching as I'm facing the class I think that's a really important thing and that's really useful in education that you don't actually have to install the drivers, the XP Pen drivers, because often you might be working with any computer that is in a classroom or your own school laptop, and you might not want to actually install drivers on it, or you might not have permissions on a school laptop to actually install drivers. So the fact that this works just as an ordinary, I think you call it Windows Ink, and you can just do the animations in PowerPoint and then when you come out you can actually keep the annotations and even now when you play the slideshow you can have those animated and you can do this replay mode and it will actually replay the Windows Ink for you and when you come onto the slide here that's really powerful in fact what I probably will start to do is to use this to draw out and think about what I need to say and then actually pop that onto the computer, play it and talk over it as it builds my animations in the classroom. So they can see, and you can, I'm sure you can change the speed of that. Yeah, so now it's going a lot slower. So I haven't had to install anything, it's just working. This has been an unboxing and first impressions video. My next job is to actually take it into class and try it out and try out that idea of actually being able to keep the eye contact and whilst making the annotations on the screen. My first impressions of using it is really, really positive. You can see it's an extra screen on my desk and I know I've already got enough, but when you're editing videos and making distance learning resources, having more screen real estate is always useful. I'm looking forward to having that extra monitor in the class, which is just mirroring the board that they're all seeing. If you're already used to using extended desktop, you kind of have to turn your head to look at the board when you're moving things between them and that'd be nice to actually have that second screen which is what they're seeing. It's going to be a really natural way to present I think. Just using the Windows Ink drivers is a really great experience straight out of the box. Installing the actual drivers allows you to calibrate it but it was pretty accurate anyway. And the XP Pen drivers also let you customise what the function buttons do. I'm really hoping it's going to be as simple as just straight out of the box, plug it in and whack up Windows whiteboard and you can just start teaching. I think that Windows Ink isn't quite perfect yet and its integration in PowerPoint and animations isn't doing exactly how I was expecting it to do, but it's really good and I'm going to get better at it as I practice. 
one of the easiest ways for teachers to make distance learning resources uh, to make any kind of educational video is to actually use the built-in video functions, record your slideshow, make annotations and just export as a video straight in PowerPoint. So I really recommend it to all educators because it's just going to be really natural for you to use a program that you're already used to using. The pen's got two buttons, one changes it to a right click, the other changes it between the eraser and the ordinary pen. When I first started using it, I was accidentally pressing those buttons all the time, but really quickly I got used to holding it in a way that I wasn't gonna accidentally press it and it was really easy to use my index finger to press one of those buttons. It's a really well designed display, it looks great on the desk and it's a really good size for drawing on it, writing on it accurately. I haven't really talked about it for use for drawing as an artist, but I did try that on some paint apps. I'm not quite the digital artist that I maybe was when I was studying architecture, but it is really, really good. It's really accurate. It's got all the things you'd expect, pressure and tilt from a really modern uh, drawing tablet. And because it's that excellent drawing tablet, it makes it a really smooth and accurate writing experience, which is what I want it for. And I really like the fact that the stylus doesn't need to be charged because, well, the pen that I use with my laptop is always running out of charge just when I want to use it. It's only nine millimeters thick. It looks great, sleek, really attractive on the desk and it is really really well built i'm really looking forward to actually taking it into school and i'm not worried for it you know breaking in transit or anything like that because it is really well built the free part cable isn't a bit too much of a bother because it's just setting up once here on my desk but it might be a bit of an issue actually moving from classroom to classroom and setting that up quickly I'm told that it does need that separate power to run at full brightness but actually here in the room i haven't had it off half brightness so and it's been perfectly fine I think it's a great solution for distance learning and I cannot wait to actually take it in school and let you know how I get along with that. So if you've enjoyed this, then make sure you're subbed up and look out for that full review video or more detailed thoughts after using it for a few more weeks and actually trying it out in the classroom. <laughs>